All right, everyone, it's Derek here with another episode of Doing Stuff with Derek. I'm just back home from school right now for Thanksgiving break and got a couple new items for a new project I'm working on. I am um, getting into copper plating and growing copper crystals. And as you can see right now, I have an experiment going on, which I will explain to you in just a second. Um, first of all, I'll just explain how copper plating works. Uh, right here, this is a solution of copper sulfate, which I made with this right here. You can buy copper sulfate crystals. I got these online. They're typically used to clean out of, clean roots out of septic systems. And then I have some distilled water and I just poured in an amount that seemed about right and stir it until it all dissolved. And that's my electrolyte solution. So here's my anode and here's my cathode. Uh, for my cathode, I just used some copper wire, which I have. There's some good light. And it's just a scrap piece of wire I found. I just sanded it up good to make sure there's fresh copper and the surface wasn't oxidized. And I bent it up into a little shape like that to get a little more surface area underwater. And then there my anode. That's just a piece of copper pipe, which I flattened with the vise and bent over once just to get a little more copper below the surface of the water. I clamped it up there just to keep everything from tipping over or sliding in. Just use this little vise clamp. I'll pop that off. Here's a brand new power supply I bought off of Amazon. That power supply cost about $60, I believe. I've been running three bolts. Uh, just kind of picked a middle of the road number. This is my first time doing this. So in the future, I'll experiment with different voltages to see if I grow different size crystals and if it affects the speed of growth. Uh, just got a little alligator clip there hooking that up. But anyways, I'll unhook this and I'll pop this out of the water. The, these crystals have been growing for about one day so far. There they are. They look even shinier in real life, but I think they look pretty good on camera too. You can see all the little crystals growing. The entire wire is coated on the side closest to the anode. The back isn't completely coated because it's resting on the plastic, but that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing how that grows. I know my voltage is a little high, so the crystals may not get as large as they would with, say, half a volt. But I'm just home for five days for Thanksgiving, so I'm going to grow as much as I can. And then maybe while I'm back down at school, I'll leave it running at a low voltage, and then I can compare my results. So there we go. I've got it running again, and I'll keep you updated as the crystals grow. All right, now here's day two. There's been more co copper crystal growth. The cord has gotten significantly thicker compared to what it was before. And there are a whole bunch of these little bumps growing on it, which are all the little crystals, especially right there on the end of the wire. There's a bunch growing up from there. So that's pretty interesting. Gonna drop it back in. So this is day three. You can see the crystals really are starting to grow there. Just a weird little quick update here. Uh, day three, I pulled out the cathode again and there's a black sludge on the bottom from all the impurities in the pipe. The copper's been dissolved off and they're left. You can see. Another update, it's starting to get really thick in a couple spots. Starting to look pretty cool. Here it is in some better sun. There they are in the light. How thick they are. That sure is cool. There's a bunch of crystals. There's a bunch more down here. 
And that's a pretty cool thing I got. And you can see that the copper is getting eaten all the way through in spots along that crack there. It's getting quite thin. And this will be interesting to see what it looks like after another week or so. I'll get a family member to lower it in further to keep the crystals growing while I'm gone. One last update before I head back to college. And there's all the crystals growing. Sure is getting a lot of growth. And here are a few quick images that my mom took while I was down at school. She took a picture roughly every two days of the crystals and how much they had grown. So you can take a look here and see how much that they grew day by day. And here's just a little shot of the cathode about halfway through the experiment. You can see how much copper is being dissolved off of it. And then after a couple weeks, the copper crystals became really long. They started to become fragile, but they sure looked really pretty. These aren't the greatest pictures, but they still demonstrate the growth over time that the copper crystals were undergoing. And then stick around for the end of the video to see a little clearer, better shots of what they look like at the end. All right, I'm back. It's been about three weeks. I'm home for Christmas break. And I'm here checking out the growth that my silver crystals have underwent. I had my mom checking on them periodically while I was gone. And as you can see, quite a bit of that copper has completely disappeared. Has to have been lowered into the water. And you can see right there, I just moved it and a bunch of impurities are flaking right off. I removed the clamps and turned off the power source. And that right there is all that is left of the copper. As you can see, a few of the crystals have broken off. So what I'm gonna do is go get some gloves so I'm able to remove everything from the solution and I'll be right back. The first look at the copper crystals. That's pretty dang cool. Just gonna set it down over here. And I'll pick out the rest of the crystals that broke off. And here are all the here are all the crystals I was able to pick out of the solution. They have kind of a darkish color to them. They're very, very brittle. Just touching them just causes them to break into a whole bunch of pieces. So considering that, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with all of these crystals. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to preserve them or if they're just going to break as soon as I try to clip or cut or do anything with the wire. Yeah, and as I'm rinsing these off, they're all breaking off. Thanks for watching. Here are a couple pictures I'm going to leave you with of the copper crystals.